violent clashes between Palestinians and Israelis receive media attention worldwide. But peace builders and nonviolent movements on both sides are frequently invisible. That's why Ronit Avni, a Jewish American, founded Just Vision in 2003. We use media essentially by creating films and multimedia resources highlighting the stories that you don't ordinarily hear about courageous individuals on both sides of this conflict who are working without arms to end the occupation and to work towards peace. I'm protecting all the Jewish people in all the history and all, the, all we've been through. I'm ready to talk with them some of them, with one of them, with all of them. A former Israeli settler, a grieving Palestinian, and others on both sides of the conflict are featured in Just Vision's documentary in Counterpoint. They talk about their losses and, despite them, their commitment to peace. We focus on their stories. We focus on models of success where people have actually succeeded in changing their circumstances. Just Vision's most recent documentary, Budros, has won awards and audiences worldwide. It's looking at the direct impact of the occupation on the Palestinian public, but also on the power of cooperation, the power of nonviolence to achieve results, and the role of women in doing so. The film tells the story of Aid Morar, a Palestinian community leader. He was able to unite Bodrus, his West Bank village, and work with Israeli supporters to save it from destruction by Israel's separation wall. Murar's daughter, Iltizam, then 15, started the movement when she blocked Israeli bulldozers. Murar spoke about the film on a recent visit to Washington. In Budros, when we choose the non-violence struggling, we know that this is not an easy way, but this is our duty and our right to struggle against the occupation. Just one month after Budros started, uh, more than uh, or about 15 villages were struggling with the same strategy, in the same way, in the same level. Budros received standing ovations from Palestinians in the West Bank and was an eye-opener for Israelis who were unaware of nonviolent initiatives in the occupied territories. Palestinian-American Irene Nasser manages Just Vision's Jerusalem office. She believes that with wider distribution, Just Vision's films can have an even greater impact. With the knowledge of all of the work that is happening on the ground, I think there will be even larger support and even a larger push towards the peace talks. She believes peace in the Holy Land will be attainable only when the people who live there believe in it. Mohammed al-Shinawi, VOA News.